Hey everyone. Okay, it's Saturday morning. I have no I just got out of the shower, washed up and everything, but I have no makeup on. I haven't even put on moisturizer yet, actually, so I should probably do that. My face is feeling a bit tight. Um, anyway, I have had it with this room. I told my husband I want the whole bedroom redone eventually. Um, but in the meantime, I feel like I'm living in some kind of hoarder's nightmare, which is entirely my fault. And it is time to clean this bleep up. So here's what I'm looking at. It's just kind of a hodgepodge of crap. Um, old nasty uh, dog toy container. That should be sorted out. We have the dog's cages in here because I have no laundry room to speak of. We have no mud room. We have no utility room. That's okay. I just want to like find a better way to arrange them and not have them sitting on bathroom mats. I keep their food up. I mean, this is ridiculous. I think my magazine rack could be cleaned out. And then this is just like completely random stuff. So it needs to just, like just shoving things in. This is a lovely piece of furniture that doesn't match, but that's okay. But I do need to clean it up and actually use this filing cabinet. So I'm going to clean up these shelves today. This is my chore. I'm gonna clean up these shelves, go through this filing cabinet, pull out all the stuff I'm not using, don't need anymore, shred it, and find a way to clean this all up. I'm not gonna buy any new furniture because I know I have plans for this space, I just don't know what, so I don't wanna do things piecemeal. I wanna wait till I have a full design. But in the meantime, I can clean all this up, including my desk. Yes, that is a nightmare. And then maybe there will be some peace in this room, because right now, it is not peaceful. So I will come back when it looks normal. This should probably be a video all by itself, but I don't have the patience for it, clearly, because I just keep shoving things on shelves. Okay, it's work in progress. I am halting work for the day. I have completely cleared out my magazines and put them in recycling. I had these bins in packages and never opened them, so I've opened them up. Half of them are empty. The other half are organized. It's very clean. I filled out an entire garbage bag, big black garbage bag full of just crap. Cleared off the top so it looks a little nicer. And now I am working on this area and that. So that is a project for another day. But now, but now it is time to get ready for my dinner date with Erin and her husband and my husband. We are going to El Daco, so I'm gonna stop yapping, get dressed, and uh, next time I see you, I will be with Erin, having some guacamole, hopefully. All right, this is how you make the real guacamole. She's scooping out the avocados, which is obviously the big part. But what everybody forgets are the oranges. That is the key. She was in Dallas. She was in Dallas. Right there. So a little table side walk with the beautiful Erin. Okay, typical barbecue plate here. The plate is paper. We're at Cooper's Barbecue. And uh, this is, I got turkey, or my pickles sauce, coleslaw, and the kiddos got, babe, what is that, sirloin? That's a little unusual. That's brisket. Brisket, okay. Turkey, mac and cheese. Got the beans over there. And of course, sausage down there. So we have all our bases covered. I'm getting that meat wet. Yum. All right, I'm gonna crack in. Can you guys see? Okay, I'm trying. I can't open the door because they'll run away. Do you see the... Shh, Buzz. No, 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 Buzz. Don't bark. You'll scare the baby deer. Do you see it? Fawn? <gasps> That's right outside my back door. And there's Mommy. And she's just like, hmm. And everything's going crazy. Okay. Hey, everyone. It is... Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. Gosh, the summer just stuff blends together. And um, it's been a crazy week. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to film because everything I've been doing lately has been with the kids, getting ready for the bar mitzvah, things like that, that I you know, really try to limit how much I expose the kids to or how much I expose you to the kids. So I just wanted to show you what's going on in my world. Um, 
I've been editing next week's vlog video. I cleaned my desk. I don't know what happened. I got another order from Bobble Bar and this just showed up. And there go. Oh, and there is UPS letting me know it came. I know. Here it is. This is brand new on their website and um I am looking forward to wearing this actually it's very very pretty I don't even know what it's called I don't know what it's called um, but if I find out I will let you know and link it in the description bar and I've got my new Bubba keg full of ice cold water and it really does stay cold um, for a very long time if you're asking this is OPI you're such a Budapest I did a terrible job making my bed but check this out can you see what's going on oh he moved he used to just have like both little paws sticking out now he's kind of on his side that's Wrigley. I'm pretty sure that's Wrigley. And anyway, just past that door is the laundry room. And that is where I'm off to next to go get some laundry and fold it while I watch some TV. And there's Bosley going for his afternoon nap. Nighty night, Buzz. So, this is kind of a staple at our house. Not every night, but many times when my husband is not home, he's at a business trip. Tonight, in the lovely city of Des Moines, Iowa, which is very far away from here. Anyway, when he's not gonna be home for dinner, one of my go-to meals is breakfast for dinner. Ah. So thank God for Bisquick and microwavable. Um, Uh-oh, I need a spatula. This could get, this could get bad. Um, Bisquick, microwavable, bacon, and pre-cut pineapple. Hello, dog and a little bit of watermelon. So it's like a balanced meal, right? Um, we'll have some milk and uh, we have most of the food groups covered. So yeah, that's my, <laughs> that's my go-to. I'm gonna eat this now because I'm really hungry and make some more, there's some more cooking right now. Can I just say that I love that we put our microwave, this was, not, this was a custom request. Um, when we first bought the house, they hadn't installed the appliances yet and they had an oven down there and the microwave in there and I asked them to enlarge this opening and make it a double oven and then put the microwave because it's just wasted space so microwaves there it vents out and it also vents there's a vent to the outside which is kind of nice too so yeah right Riggs it's all good going back to cooking dinner hey everyone um, I'm off to speak in front of the city planning commission in opposition to a development that's going up behind my house um it's a long story, not the whole development, just a variance they're requesting. So I thought I would dress a little nicer when I am talking to the commission. So I pulled out the big guns, which is my favorite dress, my Rebecca Taylor dress that I got for my 40th birthday, my, let's see if I can zoom in. Come here, shoes. Oh, I love these shoes. My Jimmy Choo shoes and my toenail polish happens to match it. It's the uh, Sally Hansen Original Pacific Blue Formula. And... I am also adding some of my favorite accessories. This is a necklace from Bobble Bar, and I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put a link in the vlog. And just kept it simple with just basic pearl dangles. And for my eye makeup, I am wearing the nude palette from Maybelline. I followed a tutorial from Allison JB, and it's pretty cool. My hair is completely falling apart because it's 100 degrees plus humidity. So that's as good as it's gonna get, and I'm wearing Two faced razzle dazzle rose on my lips because I love that color. Anyway, I'm off to fight City Hall, kind of, and um, I'll let you know how it goes. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, here I am at the Cliff Morton Development Business Service, and uh, I'm gonna go speak my piece. So I'll see you on the other side of this little adventure. Hey everyone, I don't know if you can get the sign behind me, but I just finished shopping at Julian Gold, which is a landmark shopping place here in San Antonio. It's in Almost Park, and they have some of the best salespeople I've ever seen. It's like a tiny little department store. It has a little bit of everything. They have a Kevin Aquan um, makeup section that I love shopping at, and I just bought some new mascara to try. It's a new one that just came out not too long ago from Kevin Aquan. And that's in here. And I am gonna try some new Jane Iredale foundation that I was not using correctly and they showed me some products that will work better for me. So if you ever get a chance to come to Julian Gold, 
and um, just to see their windows. They have, they do beautiful, I'll show you this. This lady who think I'm following her, but look how pretty their windows are. And they have just beautiful, beautiful stuff. And um, they've been around for, oh gosh, I think over a hundred years. So there's the sign. So yeah, if you're ever in Almost Park in San Antonio, Come shop at Julian Gold, because I just did. Anyway, I'm off to bar mitzvah for practice. So I got here early. I'm meeting my husband here with our son, and I'm early at the temple, so I thought I would give you a really quick look at some of the antiques that we have um, that are kind of in the foyer outside the synagogue, and um, I think they're really cool, so take a peek. So those are old prayer shawls that men can wear. Um, when they pray, most most uh, Jews at my synagogue do not. That's more observant, but um, that's an antique menorah, like a candelabra, used for Hanukkah, and that is an antique spice box. It's a havdalah they use to celebrate the end of the Sabbath on Saturday nights, and this is our the old. Eternal Light, we talked about a couple weeks ago, I think, or last week. This is in our old synagogue. Um, and they, I don't know why we're not using it, but it's in the case there. And this was used in World War II as like a little, this some of the ceremonial pieces. This was like a portable, um, what does it say? It's a portable ark for the Torah. Interesting. So they keep the Torah in that case. And then this is some of the stuff that was in it and yeah that's kind of oh there's one more thing over here these are some this Torah scroll is at least 200 or 300 years old and it was buried in the Warsaw ghetto during the Holocaust and they dug it up afterwards to see if they could repair it and it cannot be repaired so it can't be used but we kept it um, just as a piece of art, basically. But it's two or 300 years old, and of course was destroyed during the Holocaust, so it cannot be used to pray with anymore, which is very sad. And then these are some very old um, wine cups that they also use when they say the blessing over the wine. Um, wow, they're very ornate and very nice. And apparently part of William and L. Bug is what it says there. Can you see that? I don't know who those people are. But the detail is really beautiful, and I am so glad I don't have to be the one to polish this. So yeah, there's our little history lesson and tour of the synagogue. I think we have reached the limit of what I can show you in here that's at all interesting. This is sort of the foyer area with some like artwork and stuff. And then you go into the main sanctuary down there. And it's about time to get started. He has been at this for a while. It's an empty dog food bag. I want to see if he's, get his head. he's gotten his head stuck in the hole twice. Yeah, we're talking about you. There you go. And... <laughs> 6 27 in the morning. This is our entertainment. Mm -hmm. I know that the lighting is not great, but real quickly, a lot of you ask, when do I find the time to read? Well, my last kid just left for football training. It's 6.30 in the morning. I just set aside half an hour to sit in bed and read my book. So, I have my little friends, one Mimi. There's Bosley, hard to see. And then Wrigley is on my lap, and I have my iPad here. And, uh... There we go. So yeah, half an hour of reading will commence um, now. Yay. Oh, yes. Let's see. There we go. Adios. Okay, it seems like all I do is document home maintenance. Um, lately, we've been in our house since 2002. It seems like all we are doing is maintaining. So now we are I may or may not have decided to power wash our patio furniture cushions on my husband's putting green, which may or may not have kind of damaged it. So uh, we have the guys out here 
fluffing it. So you've got to see this. Now they are patting sand into the dents that I made with the hose. It's special sand. Apparently it's like greenish black and then this young man is sweeping it in. I feel like I have a ground, I feel like I have groundskeepers. I feel like I have a golf maintenance team here in the yard. I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't know if he's sucking sand out or putting sand back in, but uh, if you let it be lesson learned, I will not use this as a pressure washing surface again. Hey everyone, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I am apparently covered in lint. Now this is an antique mirror, so you're gonna see uh, imperfections in the glass, but uh, we're going out for dinner and drinks and I'm having a good hair day. So I wanted to get this on film. I'm wearing a really old Juicy Couture top I bought when we went to San Francisco years, gosh, three, four years ago now? I, it's been a while. I'm just wearing leggings that seem to be riding up, we'll fix that. Uh, my Zara shoes, which I absolutely love. Erin Busby made me buy these and I'm really glad she did. And I wish I'd, they also come in a beautiful cobalt blue. Whoops, we're going the wrong way. And then this is my favorite bag to take out. It's formal enough, it's small, and it looks formal because of the um, metallic nature of the bag. But what I love about it is when you go out to restaurants and so many times the chairs are designed so that you can't put your bag on the on the chair, it just kind of slides off. So this is also a crossbody, so I can just put it like that if I need to, and then I don't have to worry about um, the chair or where to put my purse. And then I just wanted to, oh, how do we do this? Show you my earrings. I get so many compliments on these. Let me see if I can zoom in. There they are, they're the, um, Bobble, they're from the Bobble Bar collection at Nordstrom, and I do have a matching necklace. Sorry about that. I picked up my nephew from the airport today and got a ton of compliments from the ticket agent to the security, to the TSA guys. It was pretty funny. And um, what's left of my makeup, no, I'm kidding. I think it looks fine, is um, Smashbox Softbox Palette, and I lips are lined with NYX Pale Pink Lip Liner and then Rose Amethyst from Estee Lauder, which is discontinued on top. So yeah, it's hot, so I just want something flowy and loose, and we are headed out now. Just gotta go feed the dogs, and we're out. So this ends with this week's vlog. I will see you next week with hopefully some more adventures. Till then, see you in the next video.